Okay, so I'm at a yard sale in uh, Queens, New York, and I came across this Coca-Cola wagon. Isn't it adorable? And uh, the price is ten dollars. It's a very reasonable price, and it is looks like it's cast iron. It is in good shape. Glass marbles? Wow. Lots and lots of marbles. A handheld sterilizer. Hmm. Star Wars, Star Wars. Oh, okay. So I am, like I said, I'm in Howard Beach, New York. And wouldn't you know that the house right across the street from the lady with the yard sale happens to be John Gotti's house. Big old camera mounted there on the corner. <laughs> anyway, I thought y'all would like to see that. This is a nice neighborhood. It's quiet and peaceful. It's hard to believe that the biggest crime boss in the United States lived in such a modest home. So anyway, I just thought I would ride through this neighborhood today and just so happened to be a yard sale right across the street from the John Gotti's house. <clears throat> he lived there, I think, for about 30 years, maybe longer. I'll have to look up the history on it. But, uh, y'all, there's some gorgeous homes in this area. I was really surprised to see, I mean, almost mansions, more or less. So I'll just ride through and, and let y'all take a look at this area and let you see what Queen's looks like. This is called Howard Beach. Um, I think Tammy grew up in this area. My subscriber Tammy. It must be close to the beach. I mean, why else would it be called Howard Beach? I'll try to find the house um, where the man that lived in. Uh, there was a man that was, um, I'll have to look up his name. I, I'm not real up-to-date on mafia madness stuff, but um, there was a man who lived in the neighborhood here, and he was driving home one day from work, and the sun was setting and in the west, and it was blinding him, and John Gotti's son was on a motorcycle, a little moped, and um, the neighbor that was driving home didn't see him and hit him and killed him. And it wasn't long after that that um, he was found dead. And it just so happened that John Gotti and his wife had flown to Florida for a vacation during the time that this man was murdered. So let me see if I can find uh, his address and his name and I'll be right back. I want to make sure I give you all the correct information. Okay, so this is the house where John Favera lived. I'm pretty sure this is it. They all look alike, so it's hard to tell. But he was John Gotti's backyard neighbor, and uh, he's the one who killed John Gotti's 12-year-old son. So anyway, the little bit that I have read about it online, it states that um, little Frankie Gotti was riding a moped, 
and there was some construction work going on. I think they said around 157th Street or 157th Avenue. I'm on 160th Avenue now. And that um, there was a dumpster parked on the corner of the street and little Frankie darted out in front of the dumpster and this Mr. Favera was on his way home from work and he didn't see the kid and hit him. And um, apparently he was angry that the kids were even riding out in the street. I'm sure there had been some back and forth all along about the kids riding in the street and trying to get them to stop and everything, and then they wouldn't. So apparently John Favera drugged, dragged the little boy underneath his car for several blocks, and the neighbors and I were banging on his car trying to get him to stop. So anyway, I mean, you can just imagine how horrific that was for the, the Gotti family. And um, then it wasn't too long after that of course, there was a hit ordered on John Favera. Wasn't long after that that he was kidnapped from in front of his house and thrown into a van and never seen again for for a few years. I think they finally did find his body somewhere. I will look up some articles related to this and link it in the description below if any of you are interested in it and want to know any more about it or read about it. It's, it, it's interesting. It's weird to me that John Gotti stole so much money from so many people and businesses and organizations and threatened them and killed them for money and uh, all the racketeering. and The only thing that he did not get involved with was drugs. I believe he was in, involved in everything else. But um, they're saying that he, you know, he was getting around $20 million a year for his illegal activities. But he did finally, um, you know, get caught and, and charged. And y'all have seen the movies about the mafia, so I don't have to go into that. But anyway, I just wanted to drive over here to Queens today. I'm going to go by Jill's and have a bite to eat with her and the kids and I'll upload the video while I'm there I hope you enjoyed it I'll try to bring you more videos about things that happen or have happened in this area hope you enjoy them y'all have a wonderful day and just know how much I love you please subscribe if you haven't done so already and y'all just keep on coming back bye guys